Hello, everyone, and welcome to another IFN interview. I'm Bruello, and today I'm joined by Amir Cashman Anderson. How are you doing? Doing good. How about you, man? I'm doing great, man. Thank you. So can you introduce yourself to the audience for the people that may not know about you? Uh, my name is Amir Anderson, a.k.a. Cashman. Um, I'm a 10-time national champion, uh, international gold medalist, uh, the new one of the newest signees of uh, Misfits Boxing, and uh, a future world champion. I'm 1-0, and uh, November 28th, looking to be 2-0 and in two knockouts. That's great, bro. And now, so what inspired the nickname Cashman? So when I was a kid, it was me and my little sister that started boxing. My little sister was Peanut uh, because of the shape of her head. And I was her bigger brother. So I was Cashew. Um, okay. And then I didn't like the I didn't like the nickname. Yeah, I didn't like the nickname Cashew. So I was like, I just told people, like, call me Cash. And then that went from Cashman and it was like Cashman Anderson. So I, I went and took it on. But uh, after after. Uh, I didn't want to tell the story about that until like uh, later on in my career. I made up a story. Uh, I was like, uh, every time I hit somebody, they see dollar signs. That's why they call me cash. <laughs> so it, it was crazy, a, it's a funny little story for that. That's crazy. Yeah. I I definitely didn't like that nickname. Mm. And now, so a few months ago, you had your pro debut on Misfits Boxing against Key John T. Davis. And you won that fight. What have you been up to since yeah. I win? Uh, just been living life, you know. I'm, uh, I've been hanging out with my dogs, my girlfriend, and uh, just hanging out with family. And I've uh, been training hard. I, I ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, I've been playing basketball lately. You know, I, ha I had to have played. I haven't played basketball in a minute, so it's been my little hobby. But um, I've just been back in the gym and getting ready for uh, November twenty eighth. Nice man, and yes. Yeah, so now. You're fighting on the Misfits Supercard this month, which is the biggest Misfits event this year. How did you get this opportunity? Yeah. Um, I think the way I got this opportunity was I when I showcased my skills on uh, Misfits 16, uh, getting the third round stoppage. Um, a lot of people uh, was entertained, and a lot of people uh, loved the way I performed. And uh, now I'm taking it to the super card on a pay-per-view card. So I'm, I'm blessed to be here. Um, and I just want to show everybody that I belong on a pay-per-view and I belong um, on these big cars where a lot of people are showing um, or a lot, there's going to be a lot of people seeing me perform. So I'm, I'm a performer. Mm -hmm. So I, I feel like I need to entertain people. So I'm just ready to perform and to shock the world, you know? That's great, bro. And when exactly did you find out about this fight? I found out about this fight. I found out about the supercard a couple months ago, um, probably right after uh, Misfit 16. Uh, I probably didn't know that I was on a show until probably like uh, four weeks ago. So okay. it's, it ha it's, it's been a little process of it, but um, we're here now we're getting ready for November 28th. Awesome. And now, so you're fighting Niraj Saini, who is a six and six pro boxer? What exactly do you know about him? Um, I watched a couple of his film and uh, he he's a heavy hitter. He knocked out all his uh, opponents that he won against, um, and he fought some uh, some rising prospects over there in uh, in the Middle Eastern uh, area. So um, he's a hard hitter coming forward and uh, a little bit tougher than my last fight. Um, I feel like this is a this is a step up from what I, I just fought, um, Kajante. Now, um, stepping up, he's, he has 12 fights, and this is going to be my second. So uh, mm. I'm just going to keep progressing and moving forward, moving forward. That's great, man. And and how have you been preparing for this fight so far? How has training been going? Um, training's been going well. I've been uh, working on just working on uh, boxing and keeping my jab long so I, I don't have to uh, get caught with unnecessary shots. Um, but I, I've been running more and keeping uh, – I want to be able to be dancing the whole six rounds. So uh, uh, I'm I'm just 
make keeping my body strong and just uh and cutting this weight. So that's the, the two main things. Just keeping my body strong and cutting weight and just getting mm -hmm. ready for that six rounder. Okay. So your fight is gonna be six rounds then? Yes. Okay. Awesome. And did you train with professionals, white collars, or amateur boxers during your uh, training? Um, I trained with mostly uh, amateur boxers. My uh, my main sparring partner been uh, has been uh, Jay Boogie from uh, my gym. We've been uh, he fights similar to the guys, so I've been sparring with him a lot. Uh, shout out to my boy Tink too. He uh, um, he he. He's a uh, four-time national champion, international gold medalist. He uh, he's been my sparring partner. My little brother been my sparring partner. Um, all my all my guys are hitters. Everybody on my team is a hitter. So sparring with them every day make me better. So that's the reason why I'm here now. Nice, bro. And now, so how do you see this fight against Niraj playing out? Um, obviously, I think I'm I'm gonna come up top. Uh, come on top. Um. I believe that I'm going to showcase a little bit more skills uh, since I'm stepping up a little bit um, with a guy with 12 fights and six knockouts. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be dancing a lot more and uh, entertaining the people. And uh, I'm not going to go for the knockout, but if the knockout comes, it's going to come. But I'm, I feel like I'm a hard puncher, and uh, I don't think he can handle my power or my speed. So I'm going to do what I do. i do what I can okay. and uh, just get him out of there if I have to. That's great. And can you talk a bit about your game plan for this fight? Um, it's not really a game plan. I just go in there and just have fun. That's my that's my my game plan to all my fights. When I'm when I was fighting amateur, when I was sparring with pros, I just I wanna like I just go in there and have fun, you know. Um, when yeah. you're having a game plan, you think about the game plan too much, and you mm, you start to tense up and you start messing up and stuff. You just go in there and. And you just think and or if you just go in there and just have fun and just be you, you're gonna win the fight. So that's how I feel about this fight. Nice man. And now so you're fighting on this massive card. What do you think about the other fights on the card? I, I think it's amazing fights um for crossover boxing. It's um uh, Anise and Gibb versus Slim. Uh both both are good crossover boxers. Uh Definitely entertaining and definitely a, a grudge match there. Um, Jarvis and uh, Ben Williams, that's going to be a great fight. Um, I always love seeing uh, Saw Poppy fight. Um, mm. uh, Deji's fighting. It, it's just a it's a major card all around. So I think it's uh, yeah. Um, and look, and my my teammate uh, Lil Cray Cray and Yadi. Uh, I think that's a trilogy that we deserve. Mm. Um, and I think I think uh, Lil Cray Cray can get the dub. But um, but it's definitely definitely uh, a huge card, and uh, I definitely think it's worth the money. So mm. I think everybody should be tuning into this fight. Awesome, man! And yeah, so so you just mentioned uh, Cray Cray. How has training been with him? Actually, he's been training um in California um with his uh he he traveled over there. He been traveling with uh he been training with AT. Uh, Anthony okay. Taylor. Yep, and uh, I heard training camp over there has been good. We were going to be meeting up in Qatar next week. Um, so, but when when it's me and him training, we we always dug uh, thug it out. He we give each other good sparring, and uh, and I, I can't wait to see his performance against Yeti. Awesome, man. And now, so following this fight, would you like to only fight pros, or would you also like to fight influencers in the future? I get this I get this question a lot. Um I'm open my 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 ultimate goal is to be a world champion. Um I want all the prospects um and pro boxers that's um that's going to be in my way during that but um if they offer me a a, a crossover fight um uh, for the right money and for the right purposes I I'll, I'll probably do it. It would it, it's not it's all about having fun like it's not it's like of a lot course. of people are like, oh, he's not like he's not he's not on a road to be a world champion. No matter what, I'm going to be a world champion. So mm. doesn't matter what I do now. It doesn't matter what I do my next fight. It's just my my ultimate goal is to be a world champion in the next three four years. So, um, 
Wow. But I, I, I don't have no, I don't have no, uh, no objection to mm. having a, a, a okay. crossover fight. It just got to be for the right money and it got to be the right opponent, you know, because I, I can't just go in there with somebody that's doesn't have the same amount of experience as me, you mm -hmm. know, and I, I don't think it's many people in crossover boxing that can hang with me. It's nothing knocking crossover boxing. I've just been in the crossover. Um, I've just been into boxing longer than them. So it just has to be a okay. reasonable fight, you know. So yeah, but yeah. I'm not against it, but, I'm, you know, that's not what my objective is. Okay. And if you were to have one of those crossover fights, who would you like to fight? It's a hard one. I, again, I, it's just the one that makes the, the most sense. Um uh the person like if it's a if it's a crossover fight it gotta be somebody that has the the same amount of experience as me and uh that's that's willing to fight so uh mm. it's not a specific person but it's definitely like i'm not ducking okay. no smoke but I, you know what i'm saying but I, I i'd love to get in there with one of them but it just have to be reasonable okay and now so you're just mentioning that you want to be a world champion um <laughs> Would you like to pursue any WBC or or other pro uh, championships in the future? Yeah, I would, I'm. That's my main goal is to go for all the world titles: uh, WBC, IBF, WBO, uh, WBA. I, I want all those world titles, so I'm be I'm gonna be pursuing um, uh, the the any of the people that's ranked by next year, and hopefully be top top five by year three so i'm okay. excited and i'm ready to be a world champion that's gonna be great man and now so i do have a bit of a silly question but <laughs> but would you ever be interested to do like a gimmick fight like a tag team or a survivor tag on misfits um not something i'm interested in but it, i'm not gonna say it's not possible i mean anything is possible i'm jake paul and mike tyson is fighting next this weekend so if that can happen yeah. i can i can fight look, like anybody so I, mm. it's not not like something i'm like looking for but like you know if they they, they like oh you want to do this and have fun doing it i'm like why not you know so i'm not of against course. it but you know i'm not interested in it sure and if you were to have like a a uh, tag team who would you partner with? I think the only reasonable answer is Lil Cray Cray. Um, been teammates, and you know he's a hell of a fighter. I, I put I put my money, I put my house on him. So uh, if it was a tag team, I'd probably do me and Lil Cray Cray. Wow, that's very interesting, <laughs> man. Of course. Yeah. And now, so I do have a question about you signing with Misfits. Um, what was your incentive to sign with Misfits over um, other promotions? Um, the the incentive was that they they painted a big a big uh, picture for me when it uh, when it came down to uh, stardom and to be able to uh, get more expand my brand. You know, uh, mm -hmm. amateur boxing it didn't really expand my brand as much as I wanted to uh, because I you know I. I was supposed to be going to the Olympics, but uh, they they brought me from that. Um, Misfits game they 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 gave me their platform to be able to expand my brand. So um, that was a huge one, and then the money was right, of course. Um, and just just the 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 people that was there, it, it felt like family. Well, my first fight, I um, dealing with them, it felt like we was already on one page, and we was all uh, copacetic. You know what I mean? So. Mm. I feel like when I was negotiating with the other uh, promotion, it was just it wasn't it wasn't out of uh, it wasn't out of benefit for me. It was more for benefit of them, and uh, that's you know that's how business work. But for me, that wasn't good enough for me, so that's why we're okay. misfits. Sure, with your misfits pro contract, does it allow you to also fight on on like uh, Wasserman boxing cards? Yeah, um, I believe it. I believe it does. Um, unless, I mean, I, I don't want you to add me at this or uh, anything. Mans could probably talk to you more about that, but um, I believe that it'll be times where I'll be fighting on a Wasserman card or or another okay. promotional company. Yeah, and it'll be with Misfits Boxing. But um, yeah, I'm, 
uh, that's something you got to talk to me about a little bit. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Okay. And now, so after your fight on the Supercard, who is currently on your hit list? Um, any, anybody that's in my way at 160, um, I want to I wanna fight the, the best of the best. I want to fight the, uh, the rising prospects. I, I want to get in there and, uh, and better myself, you know, as a boxer. Um, of course. I can't. I came from fighting the best, um, the best after the best after the best. So I'm ready for uh, getting them, them good fights and be able to go eight rounds, 10 rounds, and eventually by next year, probably do 12 rounds. So um, I mean, mm. I, I have a lot of people on my hit list. Uh, let's just say, let's just say I'm coming for everybody at 160. Okay. Um, what about you give like a top three of uh, names that you want to fight next year? Next year, um, this is our this is our respect to all the those fighters. Um, I like I like to fight. Um, Elijah Garcia, he's a really good fighter. Um, I think he's one of the top um uh, rising people at one sixty. Um. My boy Jahai Tucker, he moved up to 160. He's a good fighter, and I, I love to get in the, in the ring with him. That's my boy. Um, I love I love to fight Xander. Xander's the highest. That would be my. Uh, he's a good fighter, and he's a uh, he's definitely on the top of the level. Um, the top level that. Uh, well, he's gonna be fighting for a world title soon. So I feel like uh, once okay. he move up to 160, I feel like we're gonna. We gonna make a we gonna make a um, a really good fight, and I feel like we are gonna fight in the near future. But um, all them all respect to them guys. There's nothing like personal between us. I just I love to get in the ring with them. Trey Isley, Trey, Trey, Trey yeah, Trey Isley okay. is, a, is a good fighter too. I love to get in there with him too. Sure. So yeah, you probably have a lot of great fights then for uh, next year potentially. That would be amazing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that'll be. I can't wait. I can't wait. Awesome. And now, uh, I do want to do some quick fire questions with you. So, who is currently your favorite Misfits fighter? Favorite Misfits fighter? Um, it had to be Saul Poppy. Uh, I like the way he performed and I like the way he progressed in the uh, last couple of years. Um, KSI, of course. Uh, definitely, but I feel like Saul Poppy. I just I seen him every single time. Misfits was, um, before I knew Misfits was a a promotional company. I just seen his name a lot, and I okay. seen the way he he progressed and performed. So, um, he's probably one of my favorite. Little Cray Cray too, but nice. I think Saul Poppy is my favorite so far. Nice man. And now, so so, what's your top five pound for pound Misfits fighter ranking? Pound for pound Misfits fighter ranking. I'm gonna go number five. Um, number five, L. Brook. L. Brook is a good fighter. Um, number four, Anthony Taylor. Number three, Slim. Or, or number three, Salt Poppy. Number two, Slim. Number one, KSI. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And now, so who wins, Slim or Gib? I got slim all the way. Um, I don't like how Gib is talking about misfits and our crew, and you know I got stick beside my crew. So uh, I believe mm -hmm. Slim is the the longer and better boxer. I just think Gib haven't he haven't shown him anything, show me anything that um that could beat Slim. So I think I'm mm -hmm. going with Slim on this. Okay, and now King Kenny or Salt Poppy? I'm going with my boy Salt Poppy. Um, I think Saul probably got the more skills, and I think Ken Kenny is a is a athletic boxer. He just I don't think he got the skill to beat Saul Poppy. Mm. Yeti Gang or Lil Cray Cray? Lil Cray Cray by first round knockout. No, nah, awesome. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeti is a, Yeti's a <laughs> Yeti's a good fighter. I'm gonna just uh, I think Lil Cray Cray get the unanimous decision this time. I think he he gonna make the right adjustments and. Uh, going near uh less nervous so i think he's mm. gonna get the fight this way okay and now amir cashman anderson or niraj 
Uh, I think Nia Rodgers is going to get the decision. <laughs> I'm just I think Amir Anderson by third round knockout. Wow. Awesome, man. So finally, what's your final message to Niraj ahead of this fight? Uh, Niraj, I am coming and I'm coming to make a statement to the boxing world. So be ready. Uh, I know you're training. I'm training hard. So just be ready. I'm, I'm coming for the knockout. Wow. Amazing, man. Thank you so much for taking the time for this uh, interview. Mm -hmm. And thank you to the fans as well. And see you all next time. See ya.